have created three screencasts to add to our Structured Theorem podcasts. There's one that demonstrates sequence, another demonstrating selection, and the third demonstrates iteration. And each example uses the Perl programming language. So, let's go ahead and let's fire up iMovie. And we'll add these to our podcast. Now, keep in mind, we've already exported this podcast. But we're going to go back and change it after the fact. And it should be at the bottom of my project list. There it is. Let's edit the project. Okay. Now, I want to put the first one, sequence, in right after I describe sequence. Here's my sequence slide or clip. So I want to bring it in and put it right in here, right between these two. So the first thing that I have to do is import the video that I saved in Camtasia and I saved it as an mp4 file. So I'll go file, import, movies. And the file that I want is sequence and it's on my desktop. So I'll just scroll down looking at the files in my desktop till I find sequence.mp4 and I'll say import and this is gonna take hmm, about a minute I guess so we'll just wait for this one And now it's going to generate the thumbnails. And there they are. Now notice, you see the pictures, and you also below that see the soundtrack. So you want to make sure you got both video and sound. And then, I like to double click and analyze the entire clip. And I also like to set the rolling shutter to none. Uh, well, we'll have to do that afterwards. So, we'll click on Analyze Clip. Now, I want to warn you, this takes a little bit. So, I'm going to pause while it's happening, and I'll come back when it's done. Okay, it's done. Let's go ahead and set our rolling shutter to none. Click done. And then we'll just click and drag this in between sequence and selection. But we finalized this project. So it comes back with this warning. You have modified your project. You will need to share or finalize your project again when you're finished editing. Well, that's okay. We'll click all right or okay and we've gone from a little over a minute to almost four minutes of podcast. Okay, now let's delete this one. Okay, so we've got no video clips to add. And let's come down to the end of selection. There it is. Selection and iteration. And I'm going to go ahead and pause for a moment while I go and get our iteration example. Okay. I've done, I did my file import movie and I selected selection.mp4 and here it is now the next step is to double click on it 
and tell it to analyze the entire clip. And we'll pause once again. Okay, let's set our rolling shutter to none. And then we can drag and drop that video clip right in after selection. Now let's delete it and go get the last one, which is iteration. So we'll do a file, import movies, and we're looking for iteration. And there it is. Let's import it. And I'll pause while that's working. When I come back, we'll have all three clips ready to view. Okay, let's add our last clip. And it comes in right after we talk about iteration. It comes in right here. So we'll just click and drag. And then let's delete the clip down here. So we have our three examples. Let's go ahead and see what our podcast looks like. By the way, this is up to 8 minutes and 39 seconds now. So it's getting a little long. I won't go the whole distance, but I want you to see the shift from what we did in iMovie exclusively and what happens with the Camtasia clips that we added. So here goes. presents Bowman Jacobini's Structured Theorem. The Structured Theorem proposes that all problems can be solved using three logical constructs. The first of these constructs is sequence, and it's simply doing one thing after another. Now get ready, here comes the Camtasia clip. examples of sequence selection and iteration with you. And so I've got some code that I've written in the Perl programming language to demonstrate how each of these logical constructs work. And we're going to start with sequence. And we're coming into a Perl program and we're just doing one task after another. We're initializing hours, rate, and gross to be zero. We're then printing out a couple of strings to our display. The first one is an example of sequence. And then, how many hours worked? Now, the, this statement gets the input from the keyboard. And then we print out pay rate. And we accept input from the keyboard and store it into rate. So now I have a value for hours and a value for rate. Then I print gross pay equals. And this code right here simply calls a subroutine that will perform the calculation for us. Whatever the result is, is displayed next. And then this is the subroutine that actually performs the math. And what it does is multiply the value in hours times the value in rate and stores it into gross. So let's see how this runs. Here's my window into Unix. So let's go ahead and let's run it. An example of sequence, how many hours? Well, let's say we work 40 hours at 12.50 an hour. Our gross pay would be $500.
So it works. That, my friends, is sequin. Okay, so you can see that these clips just come in seamlessly as if they belong there in the first place. So mixing Camtasia and iMovie is really a simple process. Time consuming, yes, but it's not difficult to do at all.